Hello, iJailbreak Nation. This is Jaden from iJailbreak.com, and today we'll be covering the highly anticipated OXO for iPad Cydia tweak. OXO for the iPhone and iPod Touch was one of those tweaks that is up in ranks with some of the most other popular tweaks in existence, such as Dashboard X, IntelliScreen X, and recently VLOX. So, can its younger sibling for the iPad be on the same level? Well, it certainly can and is. OXO for iPad is just how you would expect it to be. It works and functions almost entirely like OXO. You have the app preview cards that take the place of the default app icons that usually appear in the multitasking tray, and the same gestures for dismissing applications. This includes tap and hold to clear the multitasking tray, and a swipe down to clear just one application. One thing you will notice on OXO for iPad is that the app preview cards are more rectangular and you can see more of the app's state. This is obviously due to the fact that there's more screen space. A swipe over to the right reveals the music controls and toggles page. Yep, they're combined. Unlike the iPhone version of OXO, OXO for iPad combines both music controls and toggles on one page. Swiping right on the music controls reveals the toggles like you would expect. Underneath the toggles and music controls, there's a brightness slider and volume slider. As for OXO's for iPad settings, they are pretty self-explanatory. In the configuration panel, you can toggle whether or not you want to display the toggles over the music controls first. When this is enabled, you can also set up a rule to show the music controls if media is playing. And then you can play around with the order of what toggles you want. Adding more toggles than the default amount will allow you to swipe down to reveal more, as shown here. Other than that, the last thing you can do is configure how many toggles you want per row. In the Prompt Options tab, there are settings to do with various features of OXO for iPad, with one standout being the ability to set specific ask prompts for applications you don't want to dismiss by accident. I have played around with OXO for iPad quite a bit, and was a little bit disappointed by its stability, but I don't have any doubts that it will dramatically improve over the coming weeks, and it's a huge improvement over the stock multitasking experience for the iPad nonetheless. If you're interested in OXO for iPad, it costs $199 through the Big Boss repo. And yes, even if you own OXO, you still need to pay for the iPad version. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more great content, like the video, and share it with your friends if you'd be so kind. This has been Jaden from iJailbreak.com, and for more CD Tweak reviews and tech news, be sure to check out the site.